So, Clay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors never talked about a contract. Interesting in itself. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think of this news? And would you be upset if you were Clay Thompson as he's got his final two years of this deal coming up? And obviously, he can't be extended this year anymore because the deadline has passed. But next year, if they don't reach a deadline, an extension by the deadline, which is typically october 17th or the day before the regular season starts veterans who are on an expiring contract can expat can talk extension throughout the entire year till the last day of the of the actual nba season which is typically june 30th so probably clay thompson's contract will be a next year thing but i want to hear your thoughts down below do you guys think they'll trade clay thompson or will he take a pay cut to stay? Now, Klay Thompson, the Golden State Warriors, had a Monday deadline to reach an agreement on a contract extension. According to Thompson, he and the team never broached the topic of an extension. When asked about a potential extension, Thompson said, quote, I have not talked to the front office about it, end quote. Asked about how he expect things to play out with the Warriors. Thompson said he's focused on his game and playing to the best of his ability. Quote, I'm just going to do what I got to do to be the best I can be every day. I'm going to be a great player. I know what I'm capable of. I fully expect to earn another NBA contract, whether it's this summer or next summer. I'm fully confident in my abilities. I'm not worried about an extension in the meantime because I know it will happen if I just do my job and I just be myself, end quote. Because Clay Thompson has two seasons left on his deal, he and the Golden State Warriors had to reach an agreement on an extension by the end of the day, Monday, October 17th. If not, they'll have to wait till the offseason but extension eligible players who are on expiring contracts can sign veteran extensions through the last day of the league year on june 30th which that's jerry technically that's where clay's going to be next year and so will draymond so that's something i think they just looked at and they're just like yeah this is next year's problem this is next year's problem we're not going to focus on all this stuff now we know dre's going to opt in so we're just going to focus on these problems down the road which I, I mean makes complete sense if you can just push it off let's just push it off why why keep it around okay and for me when i look at this current situation my whole thing is will they be able to rally will this still be the same team and i think that's the that's the big thing because when you look at this espn nba guru adrian warzanowski shared his two cents on the situation or just adamant that the warriors can still keep draymond green jordan pool and wiggins and clay thompson you know and draymond is almost assured going to exercise that option after all he's likely not going to find a better deal elsewhere than the 27 and a half million that the warriors are going to pay him if he opts in and if the Warriors are winning, Draymond is still a highly productive player and wants to be there. I don't think it means his days are necessarily numbered in Golden State. I think there's a lot of time left for the Warriors and Draymond Green and Klay Thompson to make it work. And I think it's just, you know, it, you never know what happens. And whether it's not, we have, you got to think about, can this team repeat? It's just a hard task. And they had a chance to have five titles with Dre, Steph, Andre all there. It, it's crazy to think about. And... You know, Clay expects to play at all-star level, okay, at the very least an all-star level. So we'll see if that can go over for an entire year and like how he looks and can he be that guy that we know, you know, he's capable of being or will he flounder, okay? That, those are all big questions right there for the young man. And I do believe that this is just going to be something we'll just see with time, okay? And with time, we'll find out who wears the pants arguably in the the relationship between the Golden State Warriors and Klay Thompson. I think Klay Thompson again would be able to get a fat deal on free agency cuz it's freaking Klay Thompson and people want to pay top money for that. So, I if I were him, there's no there's no reason to fear anything cuz you haven't done anything wrong. So, that's definitely where I'm currently at right now and I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section what would you do if you were in their shoes and why but besides that i will definitely want to hear those opinions like comment subscribe do all that good jazz we'll talk about it more later but yeah we're milking this to the five minute marker i'm gonna chug this water it's like 20 degrees here it's not warm guys but um yeah i'm, I'm just down also, look at this fucking lint. I hate lint. Lint is the worst.
fucking Lynn.